Assembly Member Barry. Thank you very much, Chair. Um, and thank you, Mr. Mayor, for um, presenting your budget to us. You, you talked earlier um, about um, increasing council tax in the way that you've, you've proposed. And I just wanted to say, before I ask my question, that my group does support you on the necessity of that. And you'll see in our amendment later on that we, we even want to go a little further. Um, and I think when you were talking earlier with um, David Galley as well, you talked about potentially some better news on the current year's council tax collection fund. Now, there's a need for more investment to address youth homelessness specifically. We've heard in the Assembly from charities, from councils, sorry, that a pan-London approach is needed, and we've heard from charities that there are not enough dedicated bed spaces for young people and a big rise in young people rough sleeping. So my pitch to you today, I know you never talk about spending money you don't yet have at this meeting in January, but my pitch to you is will you ensure any additional 20 to 20 to 21 collection surplus that may come through compared with our estimates today is put into this crisis of youth homelessness? Can you just confirm that you'll take this away and consider it for your final budget? Well, thank you for what you said, and uh, I think you've always agreed with me that council tax is regressive, uh, but you know that's uh, inevitable because of the government cuts uh, that we, we sometimes have no choice but, but to uh, uh, go there. Uh, I think what David Galley was alluding to uh, wasn't a windfall, but it was no. a relation to the number of ha households we thought may no, longer be, may, no, may, no, may no longer be paying council tax may not be as bad as we thought because of the furlough scheme ostensibly, but, but that's just a one-year issue. And so we've got a number of priorities. In my opening, you'd have heard me say my priority is safety of Londoners, but also ameliorating some of the cuts we've got to make. But dealing with rough sleeping and homelessness is a big priority for me. You know this. And you also know my focus this winter has been around uh, young rough sleepers in particular. And you know the work we're doing with some of our partners there and stuff. So, of course, I'll take away your representations, as I always do, uh, and put, put it into the mix when it comes to if there's a possibility of any good news to factor that in. Okay. Thank you very much. I don't have any questions more on this section. Thank you.